Chimneys can be inserted in various ways. We can insert them in existing walls as chimneys, as chimney profiles, or as chimney shafts. While inserting a chimney shaft, we insert a few chimneys at the same time. We select the Chimney option and enter the properties. We will select a chimney type, for example a ventilation chimney, and we will define its sizes. The chimney will be rotated by 90 degrees. We are confirming it and inserting it. During the insertion, we can change the insertion point to one that is the most suitable for us. We are inserting another chimney type. We are selecting a fumes chimney and entering its sizes and the insertion angle. Now we are changing the selection point and inserting the chimney. The same chimney will be inserted in one more place, which is the storeroom, behind the garage, but as it has to be rotated, we are entering its properties and changing the angle. Now we are inserting a ventilation chimney again, but since we haven't saved it, we will use the copy tool. We indicate, point and insert it in the proper place. In the storeroom, we are inserting another chimney in the same way that we have inserted the previous ones. If we need to indicate a chimney flue, it is enough to select it and then select Insert Chimney Flue in the action bar. Now we have to choose one of the two ventilation chimneys and show the direction of the opening.